I want to take a, a quick look at sort of how the extension's configured from the perspective of the app builder and what they need to do to set this up. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to set up the tables in the SQL database that the extension is going to be writing back to. Now, one thing we do here is we provide a, a sort of just an Excel. We've got a simple uh, SQL script wizard. And the idea here is that we can enter in the fields that we want to be in our SQL tables. We can define the data types. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a, a data and history table and a settings table. And what this will do for us is it'll auto generate some script that we can just copy and paste into SQL and we can really quickly generate those tables. So the point here, and we're, we're looking at our, our, our tables here, we've got our data table, our history table, and our settings table. And the idea here is that if we've got a new use case for the click uh, right back extension here, and we, we wanna put this into a new app, we can really quickly set up the SQL environment to support that, that use case. So after we've set up the SQL tables, the next thing we need to do is we actually need to make some amendments to the click load script. And the reason why is that every time I make my edits, after I hit uh, save data and I commit that data to the SQL database, remember we're triggering that partial reload. So in the click script itself, I actually need to come in here and create a section where on a partial reload, and you can see we're using the replace and the is partial reload function here, I need to come and add this section into my script uh, to tell Click how, how do you want to um, incorporate this, this edited information uh, into our data model. And then the last piece here is the actual front end settings and configuration for the extension itself. So if I go into edit mode, we can see we've got the extension object here up on the top right. And what I need to define in here is the, my dimensions. So these are the fields that I want to be editing and writing back to my database. And then the second piece here is my connection properties. So these are the names of the tables that I'm writing back to. And I also need to state the API URL. So how is the extension communicating with that Node.js application?